Hello. There are moments in our lives, aren't they? That are periods in our lives where we feel that um, our struggles is because of um, others and the circumstances. If others did not behave in a certain way, we would feel better. If others did engage in certain behaviours, we would feel better. If um, circumstances would be different, we would feel better. And while that might be true, and while others do contribute towards ours not feeling as well, there are moments where we can address those things, actually try to solve it, and there are moments where we can remove ourselves from the situations so that we're not exposed to things that are not good for us physically, mentally and emotionally that has the place and may we always have the courage to remove ourselves from the situations that are not good for us or ask for help or learn to find and solve. There are other moments where we can't quite just walk away and walk out and and not be part of it. So let's have the courage to learn to ask for help when it's needed. But also let's see our contribution. Perhaps we might have double standards where we may not allow others to raise their voice but we are allowed to raise our voice. Perhaps we are projecting the way we are feeling for instance, we might feel that we are unable to control ourselves or to be faithful. And instead of discussing, admitting or telling our partner, we might just be suspicious and jealous of them. Or instead of saying, I'm unable to have the energy or don't have the solution or I don't know how to solve this, so we blame our partner for saying, you should know this. So we don't feel the vulnerability of not knowing. So we expect others to be better than us. To be the example of patience. So let's have a moment of reflection. Reflecting that there are things that it is in our control. And when that happens, may we have that big courage to take steps towards the actions that help us address, that help us solve, that help us move away from something that is not good. But us also have the courage to acknowledge and admit when we are wrong, to be vulnerable and show the parts that we are not good at, that we don't know how to deal with, that we need learning without and letting go of that fear of judgment and criticism. Instead of saying, you need to calm down, let's admit at the moment I'd like some calm so that I can help myself calm down. Oh, I'm struggling to stay calm. Or well, let's take a moment to calm down. Or oh, I need some support and help instead of mind reading or expecting that the other person should mind read. You should tell, you can you should be able to tell after all these years you should know what I need and instead of putting that responsibility on the others, just taking the responsibility to ask, no matter how many times it is, training to ask the same question again and again. But let's cut some people, let's cut people the slack of um, sort of expectation. Yes, they might be in our best interest and their best interest to engage in a certain behaviour, but 
let's remember that habits take time to learn, take time to solidify, take time to remember and sometimes they can be in conflict with other values and sometimes those habits might be our ones but others might not be engaged or wanting to engage in those habits and sometimes we and others have limits in terms of energy, in terms of attention and different priorities Let's move beyond I and the you and towards a us. We can be dependent to the point that suffocates us and others. We can be interdependent to the point where we isolate and don't create any meaningful connections. Because we feel that we are empowered and can look after ourselves one extreme or the other, we can be interdependent so we know where our limits are, where other limits are and that better we can create something greater, that better we can fulfill our needs to a greater range, that better we are together, we are better together. Obviously there are times where we are better apart, but let's focus on those instances where we can work towards being better together, being greater, something bigger coming out of the resolutions, the solutions, where there is a win-win, where I matter and you matter. Let's take a moment to close our eyes the breathing to rise and fall. What about those moments of compassion? Compassion for our struggles and compassion for others, for their struggles. We all struggle and there should be no order of struggle Someone went to war, their struggle is bigger than someone that hasn't gone to war. Yes, it is rationally and logically a bigger struggle. But let's just be respectful. Everyone has their struggle, little or big or small. It is what it is. Let's not quantify in terms of order. Yes, you can give us perspective. Someone feeling homeless. And living a war, yes, that's a bigger problem. Someone going through a terminal illness, that's a bigger problem. But let's validate that all of our feelings are valid, regardless where we come from. And the same for others. And we go through our journey, and they go, and others go through their journey. A teenager might see something as a bigger deal, and we might, we might have the perspective time and knowledge and experience to know that is not a big deal. So let's cut others some slack and ask to breathe in, breathe out. Let's take a moment to see the good in ourselves and others and the circumstances. Yes, the things that we don't like in ourselves and others and circumstances, yeah, they just come to surface. You don't even need to look. They just automatically spotted. That's our brain trying to protect us from a survival mode so that we can escape or fight for our survival or find the solutions if you want to look from a rational point of view. But what about the other things that we are missing along the way? It's not looking at the good to excuse the bad. It's not looking at the good so that we can stay and make ourselves. Because we can, yes, we can acknowledge the good and the bad and then make a rational decision with our hearts, minds and guts. Is this the best decision? Having in account the good and the bad. 
short, medium, long term, is this the best decision? And then I have the courage to take the steps that are needed. And remove ourselves if that's in our best interest and the interest of everyone. Or the courage to stay if that's for our best interest and the interest of others. And the courage to work through and find the solutions will walk alongside and when we just see everything as a bad 